Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you what I use for when I go creek fishing. I live in southern Ontario and I fish a small creek that runs all the way through my town. Um, the biggest, widest areas are maybe 10 feet, so it's a pretty small creek. Uh, the main baits that I like to use are Rapalas. They make fantastic lures. they got good actions on them, look realistic. The fish really like them. Most of the forage around here that they have is minnows, worms, and then any other kind of bugs and stuff that they can find in the creek. They even eat sculpins, which are like small gobies that run through the creek, but I haven't been able to find any kind of lure that's realistic to imitate them yet. But I'll keep my eye out. So, the main bait that I like to use is a Rapala Countdown. I ordered these ones online. They're super, super tiny. It's called uh, Countdown CD-1. They're super small size because these trout, they like small minnows. So I'll use one of those. And then as I'm working my way through the creek, I'll just work these lures through the deepest spots, run it through the current, and try and get the right action on it and drift it down as realistic as possible. Other baits that I like to use by Rapala are the X-Rap. Here's a small one. And in the summertime when they get a bigger appetite, I like to throw a bigger one like that in the ghost color. And this color is actually really good too when the water color gets up and gets a, uh, the water comes up, it gets really brown and murky. And a nice color like white is easy for them to see. I like to throw natural colors because we have uh, shiners in the creek. And that imitates a shiner. That one's beat to crap because I've actually caught a ton of fish on it. Might be time to change up the hooks actually, that's a good idea always because trout are for some reason really hard to keep on the hook. And then for the rod I have, I've got a Daewa uh, Shock Ultralight Rod, which I like because it's nice and short. This one is a 5 foot, which is a nice short rod because there's all kinds of debris and stuff I have to work my way around. The light rod, it makes it really fun to play out those small trout, and the soft tip really helps to keep that hook pinned in the fish's mouth without putting too much pressure on them and popping the hook because these fish come off really easily. The line that I'm running is 4 pound fluorocarbon. It gets to be a bit of a pain with the tangles, but uh, once you figure out how to cast it and get your pressure on the line right away, you don't get tangled up too much. So that's my rod set up. And fluorocarbon is really the only way to go for trout because they are smart and they see the line. If they see any kind of like braided line or anything like that, they won't hit. All summer long, I run braid to fluorocarbon because it's easier for casting. And uh, you get less tangles with braid. But come winter time when it gets cold like this, your line freezes up and you can basically only fish for a few minutes before you're shut down. Other good idea, since again trout are really hard to land, you're going to want to have a landing net. And uh, other things I advise is having waders on you, which is great because then you can just go anywhere in the creek that you want to. But sometimes I just fish for like 15 minutes, I'll go down and just fish the deep pockets I can get at. Uh, slower days, I'll fish gulp alive on a size 16 hook. Really small guys. Trout are smart again, they have good eyesight, they'll see that, and they won't bite, and I'll put my hook with the gulp alive up about a foot from there, three of these small size BB split shots, you don't want to get the ones with the wings because they make your bait spin as it goes through the water, and then I'll just keep on casting that, drifting it down the, uh, the creek, and it looks like a minnow that's gotten washed away by the current, and in the summertime I like to fish a uh, live minnow too. I find that works really good. Those bigger fish, for whatever reason, they're so smart, they don't... They know the difference between these lures and live bait, and live bait is really the way to go. I'll take the hook, I go through the mouth of the minnow. I wish I could demonstrate this, but I can't really. Through the mouth of the minnow, I come down, pop the hook all the way back out, and go back in just before the tail, and pop it back out, and make it flush, so it sits like that on the minnow and then the fish can't see the hook until it's too late and then actually that's how I caught my biggest trout. So that's pretty much uh, it for what you need to go creek fishing in southern Ontario. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.
like and comment and subscribe. See ya. Thank you.